What do you think's about to happen? No idea. All I know is the scammer girl is gone. Oh. Hm. What did you do to her? What? what Dan did Daniel, you? what did you? You, like you must. Relay your message. You talk now. Hi. I think he talked before. Did he? He talks in very short sentences. And they see very short and only one. Once a word. Sometime later you arrive. Wait a little moment. The master diviner will be here soon. Cool. Which... She's temporarily taken on the general's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she must make the current situation known and fortify public spirit. This is her first real test as a general. I hope she can get used to things quickly. So she's officially the general now. Nice. That's that's pretty awesome. I don't think I can ever get used to this. I mean, it's the job you've been wanting for so long. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. She is very small. Collating casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. Mm. Submitting battle reports to the six charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said, the highest throne faces the strongest wins. Yeah, he tried warning you about that. Yeah, I know. I mean, leadership will always give you more responsibilities. Boof. Indeed. But you're enjoying yourself, right? Share your troubles with me. Top one. Top one. Generalship is no trifling matter. How could I be enjoying myself? All I can do is get used to it. <laughs> she's trying to take the high road, but she's, she's, she's excited, I'm sure, underneath it all. You've been chasing after this job for so long. Don't be like, oh man, it's mine now. Oh, it's so, ugh, so horrible. I hope no one else wants it because I will take it if I have to. Uh, it will be my job if really no one else wants it. What about me? Shut up! Jeffrey, sit down! Sit in the back! It's just that one guard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a <up> pert. <for> it. <laughs> I think she's enjoying herself. 100%. You did not whisper that. <laughs> Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? Of course not. On the contrary. I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as Acting General of the Law Fu. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion, it is time to reward you. Hey! You're getting paid! We're finally getting paid. Nice! Ooh, all those benefits that the General promised! They're finally here! Wait, the Yay! way you said that makes... I'm kind of doubting now. Why do I feel like we're not getting any of those now? Yes. The Astral Express oh, never mind. has braved great evil for the Law Fu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers, you are henceforth sworn allies of the Law Fu. Mm -hmm. Within the Law Fu's jurisdiction, you are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. Bang! Nice. So that's why Kafka dragged us on board. She wanted us to get this. She wanted us to become sworn allies so they help us in the future whenever we fight uh, shirtless guy. Akaviri. Uh, yeah, him. Huh. Intriguing. On behalf of the Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible then? Uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. I, I mean, hey, don't knock it, March. We're talking about a, like a, a giant battleship boat thing that's traveling through space, and, and mm -hmm. that's now our friend. And potentially the other ones are on our side as well. Yeah, we've got and connections now that at least. Things have been expressed. I still have something to discuss with you. Please, this way. You're worrying me. Yeah, where's the general? Probably recovering. <laughs> In the med bay. He's like, oh, guys, keep it down out there. Uh, yeah, who cares? He's probably partying. <laughs> Finally free of responsibilities, baby. I'm free! It's just... <laughs> He's probably in the sick bay like, don't worry, 
worry about me. You're doing a great job. Door closes. Oh my goodness. Whoa, don't hey, hey, hey. Luca! Jeez! <laughs> what the flop? I now know what to do to the characters uh, I don't like. Seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? It's March. not a mission. The Stellaron Crisis. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion. The Arbor's Resurrection. Not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Lafu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. <sighs> Alright. It's just that, having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me, so that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. As long as we don't have to do paperwork, we're f we can help. Oh yeah. So, where should we begin? Uh, oh, let's first discuss Fantilia. It appears that Fantilia was the mastermind behind it all. Oh, I see. The Sienjo warred with the Antimatter Legion in the past, and ever since we have kept a watchful eye on their movements. Look how cool Welt looks! Recap time for those who have caught up and have forgotten. <laughs> Few could have foreseen the insidious tactics employed in the execution of their assaults. The Lord Ravager slithered in unnoticed, clandestinely plotting and machinating, and surreptitiously bestowed a Celeron upon the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. This heinous act instigated an uprising aimed at luring the Lafu into a perilous trap of self-destruction. The present danger posed by the Legion clearly demands a reevaluation. We should proceed cautiously. We still have to mm. figure out, uh, I, I failed English there. We have to figure out what uh, Blade and Kafka are up to, because they were doing something else while we did, we, we dealt with Fantilia. Probably something to do with her character quest that we should also We need to do that soon, yeah. Because that actually probably is exactly what happened in between here and there. Yeah. What about the Disciples of Sanctus When the Ambrosial Arbor was severed by the Rainbow Arbiter thousands of years ago, the abundance became a taboo. Those within the Alchemy Commission, the original masters of the so-called Way of Immortality, were ruined at a stroke. The Commission became a shadow of its former self. Presumably, from that moment on, the seeds of discord for the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus had already been planted. Some of them were willing to work with the enemy, acquiring a Stellaron from the Antimatter Legion to try and revive the Abundance. I thought the Antimatter Legion chased after the Stellarons after they exploded. Or were they sent with the Stellaron? How do you get an unexploded Stellaron from them? I have no idea. Yeah, okay, the Antimatter Legion, correct me if I'm wrong, their goal is just to destroy, correct? Yeah. So that's kind of why they show up where Stellarons are exploding. It's because it's like, oh, chaos, destruction. Something? And something like that. Yeah, but what does draw them, actually? Don't know. Hmm. They succeeded all right. But why would Fantilia's objective to be to realize their wishes? Those traitors gained nothing. They betrayed the Sienjo only to become sacrificial offerings in the Lord Ravager's grand scheme. And that's probably why she did it. Let's discuss uh, the Stellaron Hunters. The Stellaron Hunters. We know just as little. But in the Matrix of Prescience, I saw a prophecy that Kafka received from Destiny's Slave. Elio foresaw all manner of possibilities for the Lawfu. Based on what Kafka knows, and despite everything being under the control of Elio, that prophecy is indeed the most beneficial future for the Lawfu. The Stellaron Hunters walked right into our trap, and even gifted allies, in the form of yourselves, to the Sienjo. That might sound self-interested, but I hope the feeling is mutual. It's for the best future. Now that the future has come true, the Sienjo has discovered the Legion's intentions, and with everyone's help, has imposed a crushing defeat on Fantilia. Okay, I think we already have the gist. That we may. But as logical as things might seem, 
there are still many details about which we're uncertain. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the Sea and Joe? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. Hmm. I'm submitting my report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report. Oh, But yay. for the sake of Jin Yuan, anything related to Sien Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive oh. me. Oh, so we're being, uh, good. I honestly wouldn't mind that. I was about to make the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be pouring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Yeah, mm. no, this, yes, that would be an mm. issue. Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around, <laughs> and I'll have to deal with them one by one. Cloud Knight Generals are all such a hassle. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Bye-bye. Oh, if you pass through Starskiff Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukong. Something Miss uh, Ting... Yuan? What? Oh, uh, Ting Yun. Ting Yun. Left behind. <sighs> it was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took form, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. Yeah, okay. Is she dead or is she not dead? With Honkai, it's hard to tell. The Cloud Knights were only able to find her fan. She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. Hmm. I'm already prepared for the worst. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicassador may be a bleak one. It would be shocking if she's actually still alive. As for yeah. how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her Foxy and Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place. And I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. Oh! Uh, sorry. I understand. Leave it with us. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Now, let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. Hmm. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. Gotcha. A fan with a plain carp print. Aww. The fan Ting Yun carried on her person. It used to be a pair, but one has gone missing. I... this... Oh. Well. Oh well. This is gonna be a very sad... Optional. Oh, yeah. The future with your companions. Talk to everyone. Okay, fine, I'll do it in order. Things have come to a close for now. It's good that you came through unscathed. Thanks for looking out for us. The Master Diviner asked us to pass on this item of Ting Yun's. I'll go to the Palace of Astrum and meet with Yu Kong. If neither of you has anything urgent, it'd be best if you came too. Oh, this, gonna, that's, this is gonna suck, dude! <laughs> Sorry, your friend is dead. Like, yeah, sorry about that. Or maybe, maybe dead. We don't know. Oh, well, we had a lot of stumbles along the way, but we still managed to kick butt and save the law food without breaking a sweat. <laughs> Feels kind of surreal. Kind of. Maybe it was all fate. We're just mere puppets of the Stellar on the. Maybe this was all fate. Top one. You don't sound very happy. It's fine. It may seem like the Stellaron Hunters are controlling everything, but we create our own future. No matter how powerful they are, they can't make a future that doesn't exist come true. Since showing up, 
We've saved a lot of people and averted disaster for the whole Stan show. Who cares whether someone or something was directing it? Uh, be happy. What are your plans from here? Actually, I was wondering if Divine or Fu could do me a favor. Your quest. The Matrix of Prescience has amazing powers and can iterate and reiterate Kafka's past. So it got me thinking, if I turned the Matrix on me, could it calculate my past? Pretty smart. Possibly... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yep. When you're free, let's head over to the Divination Commission together and ask them for a favor. Is this really gonna work? Is it really gonna give us info on March? Or is it gonna just be a bait? Are they debating Well, us? sorry, March. You're gonna have to wait until next patch. Or, uh, the midway of this patch. Whenever the freaking general comes out. Returning to the Lofu as Scale Coach Waterscape. <sighs> it's a surreal feeling. I see you're back in your, uh, Donnie form. I Don left so determined. <laughs> Who would have thought that circumstances would draw me back once more? Well, it's not like the... the how long do you plan on staying here? <laughs> I'll be gone very soon. Jing Yuan is still recovering, and the Cloud Knights won't protect me anymore. It remains to be seen how the Six Charioteers will react to my presence. Yeah, it's probably best that you skittily daddle out of here. You're kind of banned forever. Yeah. But at least for now, I'm safe. What are you going to do next? I want to meet the current High Elder of the Vidyatara. Bailu? I guess. It seems I won't be able to cast off Don Fung's negative karma. So I'd like to learn more about his past. I want to find out what I can do to make up for his sins. If you're planning on an extended stay on the Luo Fu, I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. I'm sorry. Oh, ah, understandable. Hardly something to be sorry about. I want to meet the current High Elder of the Vidyatara. Got it. If she can tell me more about Don Fung's actions, then perhaps I can do something to make up for his sins. Which leads into his character quest. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. The Ambrosial Arbor is dormant. Thanks to everyone's hard-fought battles, the La Fu is safe once more. Nice. Before he left, the General told me to handle things at the Seat of Divine Foresight. Fortunately, now that victory has been achieved, the plans we prepared will never see the light of day. However, the General did order that if he were unable to return to duty, then the Master Diviner would take over his duties temporarily. Is the General okay? Alas, I'm no healer. I'm afraid I couldn't say. He's just chilling in his room with a lion that exists. <laughs> Yo, where I is the lion? The military doctor to provide the most comprehensive emergency treatment they could. The Alchemy Commission was caught up in the Sanctus Medicus conspiracy. It took a lot of work to find someone trustworthy enough to heal the General. Yeah, it seems like a really bad idea. If we can help, don't hesitate to ask. I don't know much about medicine, but there are lots of ways to seal wounds and prevent injuries from worsening. I do like how March is screaming across the room. Don't worry. Long-life species are resilient and strong. The general will pull through. He's faced down situations a hundred times more dangerous than this. I'm sure if I believe that. I don't know. These guys barely die, so they've lived a long time. Who knows what they fought? What do you plan on doing with the Ambrosial Arbor? <laughs> what do we plan on doing? Um, thousands of years ago, the Sienjo Alliance was at its wit's end trying to deal with it. Today, nothing's changed. Chuck it into a black hole or a sun. I still feel like there's a very valid way to get rid of it. <laughs> Not wrong. The Arbor was resurrected. Aside from the Arbiter's Lux Arrow, I'm afraid that nothing can materially harm it. We might be able to suppress it with the help of the Vidyatara, but with internal strife ravaging their ranks, I'm afraid it's a long shot. If you can locate exactly where the Stellaron is within the Arbor, then the Express might be able to help out. Wait, we haven't done that yet? 
Apparently not. Thank you for your kind offer, Mr. Yang. But something as important and fundamental as the Ambrosial Arbor will require a meeting and deliberation from the Six Charioteers. But we, wait, I thought we took, I thought we took care of that. When we like beat her up, I thought we sealed it. Apparently not. I guess we'll have to get on that then. Well, Fushuan. Fushuan seems to be uh, handling things pretty well. Better to wait until the Master Diviner has another 20 or 30 years under her belt. We're not going to wait that long. I'm not going to wait that long. Subduing the enemy is one of the most minor parts of a general's work. They have to meet with the Lawfu's six charioteers and undergo ten lords' commission inspections, all while dealing with the Sienjo Alliance's top brass. Ooh, sounds annoying. <sighs> None of it is easy to navigate, but it's a daily responsibility. The crown of a general sits heavy on the head indeed. Well... She wanted the job. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to gather data for the Master Diviner's draft report. Bye for now. Bye bye. Okay, now we've done everything. Gotcha. I see. Please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. That's the Oni girl again, uh, puppet. I will. Our condolences, Hellmaster. She knows. Flap. Beat us to the job. We don't have to be the ones to lay the news. <sighs> Still gonna be sad. You have guests. I shall take my leave. Gotcha. Why are you not in the next banner? Maybe she's not gonna be a playable character. Well, that'd be a shame. It would be. <clears throat> On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission. I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellaron Crisis. Always a pleasure. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Tingyun. Why are we talking about her in the third person? Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. She left this behind. Ting Yun. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. Sorry. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? Yep. How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise? What happened to the real Ting Yun? I want that answer as well. Uh, Madam Yukong. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron Crisis has cost us too many comrades, brothers, sisters, children. Mm. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? 100%. Sorry, the fight the urge to ask is there gonna be food? <laughs> How? How could you? How could you make a joke like that at a time like this? <laughs> I, I, oh, I'm sorry. It was quite funny. But like seriously though? A soul soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms, a funeral. You see, for long-life species of the Xianzhou, death has always been a distant, mystical concept. That would be weird. I mean, not really. It's just a thousand years. It's well, no, short. no, no. The uh, the humans here that have been blessed with long life, they can go for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Basically, mm -hmm. until their clock, their random clock, by the way, runs out. 
Yep. Well, I mean, she's a long life as well. Yeah, so she is a Foxian, which they live for 2,000 years or something. Something like that. The dragons regen, but I assume they could still technically die if they don't get put into the ocean. Yeah, I'm assuming that all three of these these races can die if they get stabbed or something. Well, if the dragons get stabbed, they turn into an egg. Oh, you're... Yeah. If they face a mortal blow, then they just revert to baby. Yeah, wait, so is that the only... Wait, is the only way to kill a dragon person is that, like, you just don't let them return to their their special, like, place? I guess. Do I they just, know. like, what do they do? Do they shrivel up into a husk or something then? Like, what happens there? I have no idea. Because I, I think the foxes, they low-key just are long... They just live for a long time, then die normally. Yeah. Okay. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. I think it's kind of the same thing, to be honest. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Mm -hmm. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. Oof. Hold up, wait! So, when they talked about this earlier in one of the past quests, they talked about like people getting taken to the Hall of Karma. Do they like take their soul out and like chuck them in the Hall of Karma? Because the Hall of Karma is the place where, like, the, the Xian Zhao people go. It's like their giant mass graveyard, basically. But remember, remember that's the place that the, the puppets take people before they're actually going to die to make sure they don't go crazy. But she just said uh, the Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. Do they not pass away if they're taken to the Hall of Karma? Maybe they can alleviate the effects. Or so that what? Don't know. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. I wouldn't say insignificant, but limited lives. Every life is limited. You live, you breathe, you die. Make sure you live your life to the full potential. Mm hmm. Regardless of how long you live. Yeah. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. <laughs> it's going to be really funny if during this they put her little fan on, send it out onto a star skiff. She's just like, okay, I'm here, guys. Good morning. It would be awful. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, mm -hmm. close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. What do you mean souls can never talk to us again? What do you mean by that? I have no idea. Maybe souls can talk to people in this world. Just, you put them in a jar? You People die and like the soul comes out and they just into a pickle jar. Ugh. <laughs> That's terrible. Wait, is that really what the karma hall thing is? I sure freaking hope not. That sounds freaking awful. Imagine dying and be like, oh, I'm at peace. Dunk. <laughs> Puts on the shelf. I just, I hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, um, I would not want to be someone's goldfish, man. <laughs> nah, nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Man, that's terrible. I would hate to live in the world of <laughs> Star Rail. Jeez. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yun. I know. I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. What if Ting Yun is going to be at this thing? I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. And then kind of broke her neck. I can still hardly believe it. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts, but at present, I... 
This is the least I can do for her. Wait, so you're not completely sure that she's dead? It, so it doesn't sound like it. But we're still going to hold a funeral. Well, they're MIA. At this point, that's all you I'd can like to ask you do. All to witness this event with me. It's going to be really awkward. Man, she's... <laughs> This is going to be really awkward if she is alive. She walks up. Yo, guys! How you doing? Wait. We'll be there at the ceremony. I've instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star scaff. Us? We don't know her. Leave this to us. Hmm? We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukong. But we didn't know her. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Navalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. Mm. But why are we doing this? Because we're the player. I know that. You asked the question. I gave but you why a simple... why, in-universe, are we the ones doing it? Well, I don't know that, Daniel. You always did say that I like to gossip. And here I am rambling on, proving you right again. If only you were here to cut me off. Oh. Mmm. Do not wow. do not click that top one. Dang. <laughs> Someone here grieving and being like, oh man, you would have done this for me. Well, you could shut yourself so up. So can't you shut up yourself? It's like, jeez. What the flip? Oh. It's you. For a moment, I thought she'd return. Did the Helm Master send you over? Indeed. We're here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul-soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please, take your time. Oh, are we gonna choose something? Yeah, that's why I was wondering. Okay, let's see what there is. What if we get rid of something super important? An Annie Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife, a bow, and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind of antique. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? I'm assuming that Ow, this is. Oh, I mean, that's that's kind of cute. It was probably a gift from Yukong or something. Well, it has money. True. Oh, Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. Oh. Of course she has that. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yen Ming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yen Ming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yun. Aw, well, that's sweet. Wait, did she know she was going to die? I, I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. What? A violin that could shatter glass with its piercing shriek. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Huh. This 
besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Tin Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. No idea. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. <laughs> We're gonna rummage through her things. I wanna take a look at that box. Okay. There's nothing else except a handful of seeds. It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Let me think. Where have I seen that name before? What was that? That does sound very familiar. Is it, let's take a look at that knife. I can't cook to save my life, but one thing I'm sure of is that's a kitchen knife. Okay. okay. I've never seen Miss Ting Yun use anything like that to defend herself. It must be another gift that she never had time to send. There's an ad in the knife case. Spices Supreme. A room alley? Which store is that again? Oh, I think we've been there, potentially? I think so. That sounds familiar. Let's take a look at that bow. This bow. It's a good bow. It couldn't be meant for me. Could it? I, I, <laughs> I don't think so, Marge. Uh, it's, that's probably for you, Kong, I'm assuming. I'm sure you weren't the only archer she knew. Just kidding. <laughs> Just trying to liven things up around here. We should get going. Huh. Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? Well, one and maybe two of the things, but not the three. All of them. Oh, or we'll just take all of them. We got the seal, which is... Oh, it's cute. It's got a little finch bird on it. Thing. It's cute. Little town bird. Small chest, sleepless earl. Okay. Um, kitchen knife. Spices I, supreme. Who would this go to? In the bow. That's got to be Yukong. I surprisingly, it seems to have been completely handcrafted. Uh, no Sinjo technology was used to create it, and the arrow uh, can't track enemies or automatically make turns. Huh. So do we have to just give these out to everyone? I would assume. But... Tinyun, Tinyun, what am I going to get for you? If only you... <sighs> oh, man needs a hug. But all I can do is idle punch you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, I guess, uh, I guess maybe it's not Yukong, considering it's telling us to leave. Well, she's not here. Oh, never mind. I've never attended a memorial. I don't know why she That's exclusive dialogue. Go back. You need to keep on living. Ah, someone that lost someone. Rip, dude. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh. Oh no. The Sleepless Earl. Was that the name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? Ah, yes, and there's the storyteller. Gotcha. <sighs> Luca, do not punch a child. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I think that's Meng Ming? Or Meng Ming? Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. I'm the owner here. The name's Ming Ming. How many Ming -Ming? are there? Which tea would you like today? We're here uh, on a gift giving errand for Miss Ting Yun. Oh, this is this is the tea Miss Ting Yun promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. Ooh. When I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or Vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia. And imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. Yeah, because it has to be really good. Miss Team Yoon came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. 
She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the CN Joe had ever tasted. Oh. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Teen Yoon today? Dead. Daniel! What? <laughs> Want me to lie? No! But you have to use tact! <laughs> you gotta break she it! She had embarked on another long voyage. Or I'm afraid Miss Teen Yoon is... Yeah, that, tell her, you have to let her know. <sighs> Miss Teen Yoon. Yes. We found this box of seeds among her belongings. I'm sure Miss Ting Yoon would have liked for you to have it. Thank you, all of you. I think I should give something to Ting Yoon in return. <gasps> Aww. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, and Dawn Dew Strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. I called it Ting Yoon's Blend. That's Freaking, nice. that's wholesome. Seeing as Ting Yoon won't be able to try it, we should drink a cup to her memory. Item obtained. New tea, Ting Yoon's Blend. Uh, melee heals one target ally uh, by 36% of the max ally's HP plus 460 extra HP. Dang, whoa, whoa. Not quite as good as the full heal we have, but that's still pretty good. No hold up, it's gonna work out. Yeah, it's it's arm, on. arm day. I won't be able to try this tea, missing you. Unfortunate. It is, man. It really is. Exalting Sanctum! Wow, we're here. I find somewhere to put my feet up. On. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm? Oh. Hello. Famous for its mung bean soda. Are you just you chilling here? Oh, how's it going? Did you take some time off? See any more of the Sancho? Have you heard of Spices Supreme? Isn't that the place on Auramali over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? I mean, only if you bring me along. Go on. It's the main commercial street in the exalting sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. <laughs> Tourists fresh off the Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Thanks. Whenever I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Mmm. Darn it, now that you've brought it up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. That is not my fault. Yeah, no, th that's you every day. You cannot blame that on us. Boop. Arum Alley. Ooh, listen to those crickets. Oh, is this the new place? I think this is the new place. Ah. Uh, well, she doesn't look that disheveled. Just looks a bit... Empty. Empty. Yeah. The music here is quite nice. Uh, spice is supreme. Check out that sign. Here it is. How did we get that all from that? Uh, you know. It says it on the sign, doesn't it? Okay. Yep. Honored guests, welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? A knife. We're on an errand. Uh, we're here on a gift-giving errand for Miss Ting Yun. Oh, something from Miss Ting Yun for me? Mm hmm? Oh, oh, what a precious person she is. Oh, a sweet thing like her gifting me a kitchen knife. Yep. When she first ate here, I told her my motto, you can't better your own food unless you taste it. 
Then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. Oh, mmm. Okay. I was about to ask, what do you hunt here? Never mind, you go out and hunt. She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cuts straight through a Thalassa Titanium Terrapin shell. I'm sure that's really impressive, but I have no idea what that is. That does sound very impressive. <sighs> Miss Tingyun is too kind. Who among the Aram Alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her something. About that. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Tingyun must be real busy, right? Actually, she's uh very dead. She's very dead. Or not. Who knows? As of this moment, this, she's dead. This is real, right? Yep. <sighs> The monster you mentioned, where did it come from? I wish... I wish I could take this knife and cut it to ribbons. Mm. <sighs> Forget it. Matters like these are beyond the control and understanding of a cook like me. Not really. <sighs> Thank you, all of you. Let me prepare a dish for you as a gift. For Miss Tang Yun. Everything! It's all hitting me in the feels! It was our chili oil beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Ting Yun to our restaurant. I can't believe that she'll never taste it again. Please, you'll have to eat her share too. Easy. Done. Very easy. About that bow. I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Ah, uh, okay. It Mr. Is you Yan Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madame Yukong, right? Oh, that looks good. That looks so good. When used, instantly recover four technique points for the team. <sighs> That's pretty handy dandy. Delicious. Only Miss Ting Yun could try this one last time. Yeah, sorry about that. Wait, why does it make it sound like I did it? No, it's okay to say sorry to someone who's like hurting. Oh, nah. Grab that over there. That's pretty normal. But just to clarify, I didn't do it! I <laughs> I'm pretty sure. She knows that. I hope she knows that. You never know. Travels afar. I'm gonna assume that's lighting up all of the ones. And just travel. Activate 20 of them. There, there you go. Do, do. I assume this quest line for this area will unlock. Man, this place is big. This is quite big. Yeah, I know. We'll be heading back here soon. Hey, Yukong. What brings you here? We're here to pass on a gift. This bow. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. Mm. The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging, like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. 
I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. Oh, how ironic. Despite rising to Helm Master, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant, always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice, even if she was my subordinate. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield, but in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the Guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. Oof. I used to think that the Xian Zhou had changed with the times. Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me, those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. As a really bright light, look crap. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone. Please place your objects aboard the Star Skiff. W w wait! Wait for me! Oh, Aww. Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow Amicassador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I... I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. Ah! Ah. Paper kite commemorating the pilot who can no longer fly. <laughs> Paper kites are often gifted to children, but as a symbol of spreading one's wings and soaring high up into the sky, they are also a comfort to Foxian pilots. It's an old tradition that's carried on to this day. If you're ready, please select a few items to place aboard the Star Skiff. Here we go! stuff we've got. What do you think we should place on the star skiff? All of it? I guess the paper kite. Probably the kite, yeah. This time, we needn't compete. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. I think all of the items had a significant meaning to her, but this but, guy uh, this guy is here right now. <laughs> I'd feel terrible if well, we didn't do it. That and I think the meaning behind the kite is probably my favorite. M maybe. I'd have to go over them again. Oh, oh, oh we're just gonna toss them all oh. in. There we okay. Here we go. Man, it'd be awkward if I ate these. <laughs> Daniel! Why you could do that! It was an option. Mm. This is a gift from Miss Yensue on behalf of all the restaurants on Arum Alley. You're going to love this. This is the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. Thank you for everything you've done for the Skyfaring Commission 
and the Luo Fu. This small seal is the foundation of the Xianzhou's prosperity. The Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. I will seek out the truth. And if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul-soothing ceremony. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven. Soon, the Starskiff will carry the items you selected to the stars unknown, vanishing in the vastness of their halo. Long life or short life, everyone sails toward the same destination. Wait, I'm not seeing... Oh, it's because it's in a different area. I'm like, wait, where's the yellow thing? <sighs> I want to find somewhere to put my feet up. Okay. okay. <gasps> oh! I'm not ready for this. Oh! Oh, that's pretty and very sad. But nice. Oh, dude, the... There he is! Oh, he's just fine. I wonder if she'll really be done. I don't know. Whoever made the cinematic, props to you guys. General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. It's gonna be really awkward if she's still alive. <laughs> it's still sweet that they did that, though. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astral friends. My apologies, I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. Oh? Uh, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? It'll probably be figurative. You're too kind, General! I'd like some free real estate, please. <laughs> Go with him. You want to hit that one? He's like, oh, sure. Here's that entire district you need to take care of now. No. <laughs> Dude, click it. See if that happens. Please. Let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. Darn it. Oh, why are we going there? What's going to happen? Mihoyo, what are you going to tease us with now? Oh, Hold up, I don't know if I'm ready for this. What happens now? Oh, is that a stain? There's no I way like they're gonna coat. like... They're not gonna just tease us with another big story beat and be like, and it's over. Would you like me to relay your message? No, I want to go. I like how that anyway. guy sounds like an answering machine. Would you like me to relay your message after the beat? <laughs> <Beep>. <laughs> Yo, yo! Whoop. Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo Law Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the Nameless. Thank you. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus. A symbol of our allied friendship. Why does it kind of look like a bow? Or two lions looking I, at each other? Yeah, I was going to say lions. I, I thought lions. They're like a bow or two lions? Or like... It's probably lions considering it's this guy. It looks like it also has like the little things pointing at it. Th those are tails. Jade Abacus? Says <laughs> souvenir. Hey, Pom Pom got a souvenir! It could indeed be considered a souvenir of a certain variety, but not one you could find in a gift store. Oh. Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath, etching the record into a jade abacus. The world may crumble, and the heavens may fall. Oh. 
but this oath shall never be broken. Oh. oh! The same is true of this Jade Abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here in my hand. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew, whatever your need may be. Can I have a sandwich? You would not! You would not! Why wouldn't I? He's gonna take it back, man. He's gonna just be like, he's gonna walk up to you and just go, give that back. <laughs> you don't deserve this. Just the whole fleet shows up all in armor and like, hey, uh, you guys wanna have lunch? <laughs> wow. Okay. Now that's what I call a payoff. Yeah, I, I like dodge. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, of course, I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Daniel, I'm gonna be yeah, watching yeah, you. Yeah. I'm gonna be watching you. Oh no, I fell on it by accident. <sighs> yep, got it. Say no more. Sure thing. Thank you for your generosity, General. Don Hong. General. In accordance with the edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. Oh! From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the Law Fu. Let's go, baby! Oh. Nice. Oh, yeah! Nice. But I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fong have had far-reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. Well, they're dumb, so... While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Um, though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. Well, that's not the worst rewards. No, those were pretty good. Let's go. Jade Abacus of Allying Oath. One half of the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath, gifted to you by Jing Yuan. Hold on to the Jade Abacus and send out information, and the other half will immediately receive it. No matter the distance, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will surely arrive at your side and carry out your request. Nice. Very nice. Okay, what do we do now? Hello there. Wait, optional. Before Ooh. you return to the Express, bid farewell to the people you got to know on the Xian Xiao. We're leaving! Oh, we're leaving right now? Okay, so I guess Don... Well, that's kind of funny because I, I think uh, Don Hung's quest is... Connect you have to do this quest to unlock it. So I guess you're supposed to take it as Don Hung did his thing and March did her thing and... Oh, hi. I know we haven't got the chance to get acquainted, but I've heard a lot of good things about the crew from the general. I have to say, I'm very impressed. Hmm. So, are we getting, like, a massive world update in, like, the next patch or two? I have no idea. Because I thought we were still dealing with the Xian Zhao characters in the next patch. Like, the ice girl's coming with the blindfold. Well, man. we are getting the new, uh, girl the that's a part of the... The money... Uh, the, not uh, money. Um, uh, the girl with the warp trotter. I know what yeah, you're talking about. from the... The bank. Or bank. So the I keeping IPC? IPC. Yeah, that. So soon? I know, right? Uh, I wanted to help the general, but things didn't turn out how I wanted them to be. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> it's okay, also, smaller Dia. I have a rather abrupt request. After fighting Don Hong, I feel like my skills are lacking somewhere. 
If you have any time to coach me. Why did your voice suddenly sound so different? Uh, I have no idea. It's the voice actress uh, who did Dia, so we could schedule a couple of rounds. Why not? <laughs> Dia. Safe travels. Uh, well, I could still apparently say goodbye to people. Yeah, who are we supposed to talk to? Probably not them. Hello? Okay, so Yu Kong is in front of the palace of Astrum, and that is optional. Ah, uh, where is that? I don't know. We're gonna have to go through some of these map areas. Palace of Astrum. That. Okay. So Yu Kong should be here. Oh, is that a stain? I like this coat. Right there. there she is. At all. Are you off then? So I'm leaving the Lawfu. Indeed. The Sienjo Lawfu is all the richer for your brief time with us. I offer blessings on behalf of the Skyfaring Commission on the eve of your departure. Well, thanks. If you That's require nice. resupplying during your journey, you can always count on us. Ooh, that is very helpful. Life is fleeting. We hope you'll have the opportunity to return to us on the Law Fu soon. Very, a lot sooner than you actually think. Alright, who's next? Uh, Su Shang is in front of the Sleepless Earl, which is an op another optional thing. Dude, was Sleepless Earl on the map? Okay. There she is. Voila. Uh, hi. Hello. Hello. Are you listening to Mr. Xian's stories? stories? Sure am. Things have been in constant turmoil since I transferred to the Law Fu. Now that I've got a little free time, I'm here to listen to some storytelling. Aw, that's nice. Uh, are you... Sorry, I've met so many people recently. You seem unfamiliar. Judging by your clothes, you must be an outworlder. Right, because we didn't meet her. Uh, Dong Hong. Dong. Don Hung told me all about. Is that so? Well, before you leave, I recommend listening to Mr. Xian's Legend of the High Cloud Quintet. Hmm. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be an epic hero. I never get tired of hearing about the quintet. I'm sure you'll love it. You should bring Don Hung along next time. We can chat over some tea. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I won't take any more of your time. Good luck. Thank you. Dang. You should bring Don Hung along next time. We can chat over some tea. Okay, Ching Chu? Is an exalting sanctum can be found standing at a table in the dining area upstairs that leads towards the divination commission. Apparently, that is where she is. In a dining oh, table. is that a stain? I'm assuming like this here coat. somewhere. There she is. I don't Hello, slacking off again. I'm guessing seeing you here probably means that your affairs on the Sanjo are mostly complete. Wow, yeah. Is we're leaving. It? Wow. I thought you were going to stay for at least a little longer. Same. Did Welt learn how to play Celestial Jade in the end? If he hasn't got the hang of it yet, tell him to come see me, and I'll show him the ropes. Hmm. Oh, I haven't asked you yet. Are you interested in learning yourself? Sure, if it's easy to learn. Aha, I thought so. Come back when you have time. I'll teach you. We're in agreement then. You can come back anytime and I'll teach you how to play. That sounds lovely. Your brain feels brand new. So brain feel brand then. new? What? You can come back anytime and I'll teach you how to play. The freak was that advertisement in the background? Your brain will feel brand new. Okay. I, did I hear it what wrong? What else? We have. Uh, uh, what else? Talk to Bailu in the Exalting Sanctum, straight ahead from the Court of Tranquility's teleport on the right side. Court of Tranquility's transport. No. Or so to the right. 
to the right. Straight ahead of the teleporter on the right side. Oh, I see. Yeah, there she is. Hello, hello. Small dragon. Hello. Hello. We're leaving. Oh. Start your next journey. That's great. <sighs> I can't wait to escape the commission again. <laughs> You don't have to really worry about that too much. Uh, oh, make sure you come visit. Next time you're here, we'll put my plan into action. Gotcha. <laughs> I've got it all figured out. We sneak out, head over to Arm Alley, and pick out on the snacks there. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Or I could just go there myself. You wouldn't do that. Okay, I better start planning that escape route then. You can be such a jerk in this game. You really can. And don't forget to come see me if you get any headaches, fever, tendon pain, joint pain, uh, anything. My treatment is on the house. Wow. That would be quite helpful. Thank you. Too bad. <laughs> Dale, no. No, Dale, don't think about it. <laughs> I may have accidentally shocked the child. How could you? Well, luckily she's the lightning, so she's immune. She's shock resistant. Uh, Fu Xuan is in the Divination Commission. So you can go chat with her. I thought we were just there. Hmm? No, oh, we were in this the is... uh, other place. Got it. One yes, zero, okay. One zero, one nice. Zero. Are you here to say goodbye? Ah! Indeed. I guess you foresaw that, huh? There's no need to be so anxious. I predict that you will return to the Xianzhou often. And you will definitely continue to trouble us when you do. <laughs> Therefore, forget about any farewells. Oh, Flip, we can say a few things to you. I'm leaving. Is that everything? Is that really everything you want to say? I'm leaving. Even if I do return, this is still farewell, right? That sounds weird. Probably not. That's a very weird sentence. Yeah, bought it. Go with the bottom one. All right. Okay. I understand. Hmm? I wish your travels be fleeting of foot. And may your crises be effortlessly resolved. Thanks. Well, yeah, I forgot we have to do her puzzles still. Yes, we do need to do more puzzles. Um. It's another one. I'm assuming this is like a main side character or something. Oh. The child? Is that a stain? Uh, yes! It's the little girl! Like this coat. Ah, she's looking for the uh, evil girl. And it figured now. <sighs> Is that you, big brother? 100%! I knew it was you by the sound of your footsteps. Oh! It's me. I'm planning on leaving the Lafu. You're leaving? Yep. <sighs> Thank you for helping me. And thanks to Don Shu, too. I should be taller the next time you're back, so I won't be such a burden on everyone. You're not a burden. Um... By the way, is Don Shu okay? Nope. Me and my friends are worried about her. We haven't heard from her since the last time she delivered the medicine. You should never take that. She's dead! <laughs> I do not know what to say about this, actually, to the kid. But am I willing to lie to a little blind girl? No, you shouldn't lie to her. I don't like either of these options. <laughs> but am I willing to say straight to a child's face, your friend is dead? Am I willing to do that? I mean, or am I willing to lie to her? I no, I, I'd say tell her the truth. But I wish we could say it better. I don't that like these options. She's on years. a sabbatical yeah, studying uh, a medical pellets or medicinal pellets. It's like. That's garbage, <laughs> but sorry. she's dead. <laughs> it's just she's dead. There's not even like, there's not no, even like easing it in. There's no just, wiggle room. She's dead. She's dead. Man, the other characters that were grieving were like, hey, this is just how it is. I'm sorry for your loss. For this, she's dead. She was evil. Like, disgustingly evil. That tree remained dead for three But that's years. a little Figured now's a good that's time that you good shouldn't advice. just be saying this to a kid. I mean, click, she's dead because I think that's the right answer. I said that jokingly. I didn't think the game would it's, be on my. It's energy. the better of the two options, but like, holy crap! There's Some, I know someone's a... gonna give us flack in the comments for hey, this. Hey, I would love to tell her she's dead. 
but, but like, I would in like a to better do it way. in a, you know, maybe a nicer way to ease into it of like, oh, she's gone. Any other approach than the brick forced route? <laughs> okay, well, let's go. She's, she's dead. dead for thousands of years. And it figured now. <laughs> What does dead mean? It doesn't mean going to a really, really, really far away place forever and ever and never coming back like my mommy and daddy. No! Yes. I'm not doing, I'm not doing this! I'm not! <laughs> she committed a serious crime and it was executed on that the spot. That tree remained dead for thousands of years. <laughs> And it figured now's a good time to come back to life? No. We're not saying that one. <sighs> We're gonna, it has oh to be. Oh my goodness. The top one. <laughs> it, we have to go with it. No, we have to do it. Cause that, that, that top one is true. That oh. is true. Oh my. Why? Why, why out of everyone we're, we've talked to about losing someone. We are the most brutal to a little blind girl. That tree Orphan. For thousands of years. That no, they we have to. She what do you want me to do life. next? Punt her? <laughs> she, yeah, no, it's No, we cannot say she committed a serious crime and was executed on the spot. We cannot do that. Cuz it's true, but holy flip. I want to click that so bad. I mean, I do too, but then it's we're canonically stuck with it. I gotta know what happens. <laughs> well, YouTube it then maybe. Can hey, wait, you, I'll look it up. Can you look it up? I have to know what happens <laughs> when you see it. Cause no, I do not want to be stuck that with this. I would never say that. For, oh, okay, so it is okay to be like, hey, I want you to know she was evil. She's gone now. Like, or it's okay to like break it to her easily. Like, hey, she did some bad things. Some people had to take care of it. Stuff like that. This you you say it. She's a child. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for all I know, some of the little kids on this freaking thing are like actually a hundred years old or whatnot. <laughs> but like, it does not change uh, the fact that you are bluntly telling a little girl about the person flip. she liked being executed. That's not okay. Holy but, flip. Okay, so if you, um, Whew. see this is the stuff that I want to say to Bronya, but I just, they, but no, the game's like, no, you say that to a little blind girl. A little orphan blind girl. I don't think it actually changes her dialogue. The other ones have different things. I think you get the same dialogue depending on what you click here and stuff. So go with the top one. Wait, but like no funny dialogue happens? No, no, as far as I can tell, it literally has both options and it's the exact same dialogue that follows. Things up here gave different dialogue responses. Got you. So I think this is the same That's thing. That's one way of putting it. Huh. <laughs> it's so funny. That's so bad. Oh, that's, that's, so, that's so out of pocket. <laughs> oh my gosh. I heard that Star Rail had some unhinged writing, but man! Well, there's like other characters that are like, we can be blunt. This is a baseball bat to a child's face, dog. Okay. Um, so, Don Shu will never come to see us again? Oh. Thousands of years. And it the little girl stares in your direction in silence, life. but the look in her eyes say a lot. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for telling me, big brother. My Don Shu always said, we can't expect others to take care of us forever. You should ignore everything she ever said to you. She was a scumbag. It's okay to rely on others. <sighs> bye bye, big brother. Bye bye. That tree remained dead for thousands of years. Bye bye, big brother. I want to give you the biggest hug. Too bad. Tree We're not allowed. Daniel, let's adopt the, this girl. We're not allowed to. I don't care. Break the code. They can't. I'll find a way. Mihoyo, please don't don't actually ban me. I'm not I'm not gonna hack your game. But let us adopt the child or give her a freak. Let us help her find a new home. With people that actually care about her. Okay, who's next? All right. Uh, talk to the arrogant kid in the exulting sanctum behind the spare time what, bookshop. The, the kid that bullied her? Why the flip are we saying bye to him? I don't know. No, arrogant child. Is that someone different? Is that the same kid? Mm, should be. Because uh, when there are three of them? Apparently we're talking to some arrogant child. 
There were three of them. Yeah, maybe one of them is the arrogant kid. Have you read the novel Behind about the, the bookstore? Behind machine? the bookstore. Behind the... That's... That's a lie. That's a lie. For this one. Uh... Oh, here! Oh! Yeah, it Here? Is. Okay. See? It was the bullies. It was the bullies. Good call, dude. Uh, what do we do now? We don't really have to turn over a new leaf, do we? Hello. <laughs> no way! We pretend to obey the grown-ups, then get back to business as soon as we get the chance. What business? Hey, what are you looking at? This is our conversation, okay? Hmm, why does this outworlder seem so familiar to me? Hi. Hey, boss! I recognize him! He's the guy who messed with us last time! Ugh, I remember now. Last time we dealt with this one, we got into big trouble. Yep. Ah, it's you. You're the one who betrayed us, right? What? Huh? We Come again? We were ordered to change our name from the Law Fu Trio to the Law Fu Study Club. Ha! <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Now no one's gonna respect us anymore. You don't deserve anyone's respect. For now. I hope you become good kids later down the line. Right? But for now, you don't deserve any. Hmm. Huh. So tell us, how much compensation are you gonna give? Uh, we're leaving. We're leaving. Huh. Trying to flee? <laughs> yes, totally. Ah, boss, let's just forget about it. Let this bad omen off the Lafu so we can get on with business. I think it's okay for us to stay here. <laughs> just go then. What's it got to do with us? You think we're friends or something? You want to say goodbye to us? Not really. Don Shu asked me to bring you a message. Don Shu? Who, who's Don Shu? She's the leader of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. The one everyone was talking about. Sanctus M Medicus? W what do you want with me? Oh boy. You want us to join you or something? Nope. Stay away from the kid, you hear? Otherwise, the oogie boogies are gonna crawl out of the gutter. Grab ya. I could believe they would do that. <laughs> you guys must think you're pretty tough. Bullying kids like us out in the open. Oh, now it's mean to bully kids. Have us arrested then! <laughs> Take that, child! You're lucky that we can't be brutal with you. <laughs> like we can the little blind girl. to throw in the towel, boss. They're playing for real. If you want to start a fight with the disciples, <laughs> I'm out. Mm, I guess you're right. These guys mean business. My mom said they eat three or four kids for breakfast. I would believe that, honestly. Y yeah. <clears throat> hey, you! We promise not to bully Xiao Yu again. If you promise not to mess with us. Don't bully any other kids either. Hmm? Do it. Okay. We promise. But you have to keep your word too. Of course. That would be really unfortunate if like a group of Sanctus Medicus attacked them one day when they were being good. <laughs> then as the Lawfu Trio, we... Shh. We're the Lawfu Study Club now. Don't say anything about the trio. You ought to be more afraid of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. <laughs> Good thinking, boss. Long live the Lofu Study Club. Apparently we still have more people. Yep. What is next? What's this? Uh, talk to D-Ting in- Oh my. So that got big. What the flip? Wow, they plan on adding a lot. All right. Okay, then. Oh, there's the dog. There he is. Ding, ding. What's up, dog? Woof, woof. I'm leaving the Lafu. Oh. No. Ding, ding. We'll come back. And you'll get plenty of pets. 
For a second, I thought the game was going to offer to let us punt it for some reason. What? What's that? You're going to miss me? Dating lifts its front paws, draws an, an arch in the air with its round head, turns around and runs off into the distance. You made him upset. It looks like he has something to show you. Never mind. Help, oh, follow him. And away we go. <laughs> this is going to take a moment. Okay, his legs are short and stumpy, okay? It's not his fault. He was just made like that. So, note to self, uh, when programming robot dogs that are basically sentient, um, give them longer legs. Is, is this a gift for me? Wolf. D-Ting circles around and sits down, expectantly waiting to see you open the chest and get something nice. Aw, oh, thank you! Items obtained. What <gasps> is that? D-Ting, a return gift from parting with D-Ting. It only takes three days to analyze the entire archives of the Artisan Ship Commission and customize its own staff profile pic. Master Artisan, I found this in the payroll. It... What's this money for? It's a profile picture. That's amazing. Hold up, have we missed things in the past by not doing optional goodbyes? I mean, I think we did all the optional goodbyes. I thought we did. I hope we didn't miss anything in the past. Grab that, dude. Dating. <laughs> ah, yes. Your puppy. Your puppy. Your puppy dog. Okay, who's next? Uh, Master Gong Shu in the Artisanship Commission. Ah, this man! Ah, yes, there he is. There's the man. I see the bun. The Artisanship Commission has come through hell and high water since the incident. Rebuilding what we lost will drain the years. Our labor filled with blood and sweat and tears. I'm leaving the law For a room. youngster to deliver a farewell to an old man like me is a rare Not occurrence even old. in this day and age. Uh, well, he, uh, it depends. He may actually be a couple thousand years old. That's baby. <laughs> okay, with eternity? And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've taken on many a short life apprentice. After leaving the law foo, they never return. Time, not distance, is the true separator of souls. Yeah. The lingering sound of bygone music plays, though groweth fainter with the parting waves. Don't worry, I'll be back. Or you sound touched, Master Gonshu. Maybe do that one. Life is full of farewells, and I've seen more than most. Oh. <sighs> but farewell it is. I shall not sing for you on your way out. I fear the sound would break my heartstrings. Do it, man. No, it's fine. Just let it out. Belch it. Belch <sighs> it. But farewell it is. I shall not sing for you on your way out. I fear the sound would break my heartstrings. Okay, same thing. Uh, oh, that was everyone. Yep, that's it. I was just checking and I saw that myself. I'm kind of sad. I, I, okay, I have no idea what's about to happen because the next oh, patch is definitely is still characters. I like well, like you said, code. there's the Warp Trotter girl, so maybe, maybe like an intermission kind of like patch will be like transferring somewhere else. Probably our introduction to the next planet. Yeah, or what we'll see the IPC. It may be the introduction to just the IPC. Back. For all we know, we just get booked and we're like on a small ship or something. That would be awkward. Huh. Well, alrighty then. Hello. Himiko messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gates reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himeko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission too, right? Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sianjo? 
Uh, we already visited everyone, so don't think so, I guess. Wait, what, do we, what, do, what happens if we say that, though? I'd like to visit some of our friends we made along the way. Oh, yeah. There are some people we haven't said goodbye to yet. I'm assuming this is the way to back out. Uh, fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express. The two of you come back soon, okay? Okay. <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Yang. Does this give us anything else? No, okay. It's literally just there, too. Oh, wait. Uh, we've been <gasps> so busy running around in circles, we haven't gotten the chance to say goodbye to friends we've just met. I feel like parting is still such sweet sorrow. <sighs> Who should I go to first? The Master Diviner? Jing Chu? The Miracle Doctor? Ah. Or what about Master Gongshu? Uh, shall we go and meet them all? That's actually really cool, the game devs, to do that. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express first. You and March finish up here and come back soon, all right? Game devs, I love you. You guys when are I great. I the train, I only had time to say a quick goodbye to Himiko. I should go back and give her an update. And thank her for her guidance. Okay. Oh, let's go. Okay, there it is. Let's see what happens. There's a dreamlike quality to watching these star skiffs depart through the Jade Gate. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. Hola. I didn't know you were a poet, Mr. Yang. Oh, yeah, you're back. Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Next time, I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. <gasps> one can stay on the express. Oh, okay. Since when did the work roster just change like that? <laughs> so, um, our next stop. Panacone. Do you remember? Before Kafka's proposal, that was our original destination. Hmm. I think I need a reminder. Yeah. The Express's records show that Penacony was a prison planet used by the IPC to exile mm. criminals. At least, it was at the time of recording. However, following a Stellaron burst, the planet fell into the arms of Shipei. They say it's been transformed into a prosperous and ethereal realm. The Harmony took over. Interesting. Oh? The family is throwing a banquet there, and they sent invitations out to the Express. Mm. I was curious about the state of the planet, so I accepted. Oh, okay. We're going to a big party. Cons okay, and considering that this is going right. to be one of the main areas for Harmony, we may get Harmony Trailblazer. Maybe. Well, we went to the place of the hunt. Well. And we didn't get the hunt. Well, I think that's because this is only one of the five ships. Technically, they all serve It's still the a planet of the hunt. It, it is. But yeah, I'm assuming they're saving it for later. When the conductor is ready. We can set off for the next stop. But it is actually good that we didn't get it here. So it allows them to pace it. Unlike in Genshin, where it's every country you go, you get a new power. This way, they're able to spread them out a little more. Yeah. Well, and also then like the longer it takes to get certain trailblazers, maybe the more busted they'll become. Potentially, yes. Cause so far trailblazers good. Like both forms are good. Meanwhile, in the shackling prison, <clears throat> why are you here? All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Oh. Which are you? <laughs> here we go. Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler. <gasps> What a spectacle. The Stellaron, the Ambrosial Arbor, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. 
a series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. They who brought the Stellaron onto the Siendro, what was their motive? <laughs> Will you surrender, or do you require encouragement? Okay. Of General, mm. my power does indeed stem from the abundance. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yaoshir. Ice? Oh! The girl! That's right, Jingyuan. Stay out of our way. Oh, rip those guys. The revival of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. Oh, let's and this go. time, we will put the abundance in their grave. Hmm? So wait, are we getting like two major quests next patch? Interlude. Stay tuned for what happens next in the upcoming installment. Okay, so I'm assuming our main trailblazer quest will take us to the, uh, the Pena, the, that, the next planet. But then like, uh, I'm assuming we'll get like a character quest for her. No one That will bring us back to the Sien Zhao. But we have some new paste. Fascinating. Daniel, what just happened? Ah, uh, yeah, that, 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 I, uh, uh, paste.